I am the diva. Diva! You better roll out the red carpet. Diva! Cause here I come. Oh, yes, yes. Diva's in the house, baby. Thank you so much, Michelangelo, for passing the mic to me because this is going to be yet a fantastic opportunity for not only me to be able to talk to these fabulous people on this platform, but also for this platform to get a taste of the fabulousness that I've got going on. And today, babies, we are so lucky because in the season and element of this Black History Month, we are talking to not only is she a celebrated and and well-loved publicist, but she has maintained a career of over 50 years in an industry as a Black woman, and as time got better and much more comfortable to be and be stay free as an out Black woman representing on a daily basis for all of you who are listening, because that's something that, you know, we all have to check a box for if we can. And she has, you know, Mother, don't forget mother. She's a mother. fabulous mother. Her daughter and I are actually birthday twins. We we're born on the same day, mm-hmm. same year. My mother's the same name as her mother. We got a connection, let me tell you. And what is so beautiful is, is that it's her work that I'm so fascinated with. Miss Irene, you are, as I said, a publicist. You are a producer. You have worked in the theater industry for over 40 years, over 50 years. Um, what is it that keeps you motivated to do what you're doing? Well, I welcome the term the angry black woman because, <laughs> you know, everyone's offended. Oh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I am the an- angry black woman. And I say that with a positive thing, because if I wasn't angry, I wouldn't survive. Wow. You know, you get mad, you get you get mad and you get mad. Most people think people get mad. You can get mad a, a, a lot of ways. You can get mad by voicing your opinion. You can mad by having a, having a, what do you call it, a, a drama, being a drama queen. Mm-hmm. But you can be, get mad by making change. And I'm that angry Black woman that got, has been mad for years, for days, for the last hour, to make change with what I think, <laughs> what mm-hmm. I think should happen. Not, I do it for me, mm-hmm. but, but it's bigger than me. I do it because it can be done. Because wow. I'm like, well, I never take no. I never say, well, why? You know, you know, you keep you say, I'm not doing it. No matter what show you move at history from serious radio for you doing um, your other uh, behind the scenes stuff. Mm-hmm. And I've had, and everything you said, well, you know, I read, I'm not doing the theater piece. I said, well, what are you doing? I never take no. That's because, right. And that's, the, yeah, I never, I never get them like, okay, so well, let me work on But okay, I have a construction worker who wants to be a dancer. So let's talk about that. And I think that, you know, you know what I mean? So um, it's like, it's like, it's like it's an internship. Yeah. Or it's, I'm always interning in my mind. That's amazing. What can I learn? What can I learn for the person? And how can I, how can I just do what I need to do? And I get, you know, and so that's, that's why I use that term. Wow. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. I just, I like I said, though, it's it's that kind of stick to that kind of energy that you have to have in order to maintain any real career period. But certainly right. as a person of color moving through what we have to move through on a daily, you know, it's it's it always makes me so excited when I see what you do, because your influence is not just about people of color. It's about everybody. And really, yeah. if, if we break yeah. it down, it's about the money. <laughs> let's, yeah, let's yeah it's about real. the money, but mm-hmm. it's about the money, but it's also about um, being in a, in, a, in a theater space, because I love theater, where you can have excellence, but you need to get paid for your excellence. And well, I want to go back to one thing that you said about theater. Every, everything is audition. Every, every actor, every director, everybody is audition. And we, I think people in theater who are not on the stage or on the creative side Mm -hmm. forget you have to audition every day in life every day and it was not you know so you have to think of life as audition so if you go if you go for one you know just because you don't get it you're not going to stop right you're going to keep getting it and getting it and getting it and getting it you know, um, until you, uh, you know, a Felicia, I was raving about Felicia Rashad still takes uh, drama lessons. I mean, and she always. teaches, <laughs> you know, and, and she teaches. And she's La working. Tanya, La and Tanya she's working. Richardson, a lot of Tanya Richards, you know, 
she still go, teaches mm -hmm. and directs. You know, like me, I just wanted to, oh, excuse me. I, I, wanted, <laughs> I want children, well, while I'm talking about, because I'm coming to the point. This is my first turning award as a producer, an African-American woman producer for Porgy and Bess. Yes. And it's real, yeah. And that was in And she has the Tony Award that spins, y'all. <laughs> yeah. And that spins, it spins. Yes. And this is in 2012 for the Gertrude Porgy and Bess. But also, I, which is great, great. I got this. This other Tony honor is for excellence in theater, you know, from and, my peers. And it's a lifetime achievement. Oh, for those okay. of you, are, a lifetime achievement. For those of you, it's like the all, Kennedy honors. It's her Kennedy honors. But for those of you who are listening, when you click on to uh, catch me or Miss Irene on the Twitter, or I'm actually on Twitter at Comedy Daddy, and Miss Irene is on the instagram that's where you are that's where you get her influence ladies and gentlemen which is going to be running across the, on the screens right in front of you when you get the chance to see um and like now i mentioned this i brought up my two tonys because i'm not sitting I'm, i have to mention my longtime work husband jeffrey richards who has kept me working for 30 something years and we're going to be bringing out some more things that i will be producing as lead producer so all our african-american production of um pal joey um, Ohio, Adrian Kennedy, we get, she gets to see her show on Broadway, Ohio Murders. With Wonderful. Audrey, with Audra. McDonald. But, but the point of that, but what am I doing? I'm not waiting for that to happen for 2023. 20, I'm working with Michael Jackson, bringing influencers into the theater. I'm still, I'm passing out tickets, meeting mm -hmm. people, relationships that I have. Not because, well, two, I want to, I want to, it's just, 10 black shows were on Broadway. Right. At the same time this season. And it's important that everybody sees everything, but everybody right. doesn't have that. What I do have, I have relationships and I have people that have relationships that can make me have relationships. Um, <laughs> you know, so get the right people in. Right. Because it's bigger than me. I mean, why should I say, well, you know, I'm only doing Broadway. I'm like, you know, I'm out there with the marketing people. Yes. And, but I'm not stepping on their toes because I'm not trying to not let uh, these wonderful African-American women uh, walk tall productions, Marcia Pendleton, mm -hmm. Real Men Productions, Tony Israel. Those are some of the few that I'm mentioning that are working on these amazing shows. But I'm not trying to do what they're doing is what because I have so many tentacles, right. what I'm doing. But, know, what you, um, but what you're doing, though, and it's something that I'm doing, I, I I'm want branding, to I'm branding, yeah. Well, I'm I want branding to highlight, show, but. You, but beyond the branding, though, but you are, you are supporting and giving your expertise, because this is the thing that people don't understand if they, if they want to know more about Irene Gandhi, you can look her up and find her, is that with all of these years of experience and all these years of wisdom going into this, the career choices, that is why watching you influence people is now really more fun for me. Because the thing is, is that people, when they meet you, don't realize what a wallop of life that you give to them in terms of the experience, in terms of, of what you bring to the entire arena when it comes to promoting a play producing a play bringing getting butts in the seats as they used to say yeah. still do but yes, like you so, are you so are do. still in that mix and you do it in such a ferocious way because you are everywhere it's like i tell people walking down, the, <laughs> you know walking down the street with, you know, walking through times square in the theater district with irene gandy ladies and gentlemen let me just tell you it is if you want to get to know who's who during a lunch hour walk with Irene Gandhi and she not only will you know who the famous people are but you're going to walk past the doorman who does the security at this particular place she's going to tell you about the the cashier that worked at this particular theater she will, will tell you about her long-term relationship that she's had with the folks at Sardi's because of that and it's something that people need to understand is that this is really you mentioned it earlier about Jeffrey Richards it's about relationships and it's also relationships yeah. with with you have to align yourself and ally yourself with fantastic people that have your best interests at heart. And that's, I mean, and you hope that they have your best interests at heart, I should say, but right, in terms right. of the right energy for everybody getting their stuff done. Yeah, because why, when I come back in 2023, I mean, everybody wants to go see Michael Jackson and Tina, I mean, you know, but right. when I come back with Pal Joe and stuff, I, um, they will be happy to know they can, they're, they're already, 
the people that normally don't go to theater and they're big time people. I don't want to mention a name, a big time culture people, mm-hmm. you know, like uh, who really love theater. Their closet theater goers like Mona Scott, you know, from uh, <laughs> Love and Hip Hop. And uh, Al Sharpton is a closet theater go uh, person. Um, these people, they love theater. Mm-hmm. So when I come back with my shows, and my, me and Jeffrey's shows, let me mm-hmm. correct that, then um, they can, you know, it, it's, it's an experience. And because I'm also, I'm in the mix now. I'm like, okay, I can brand my own shows now. I don't right. have to start from the scratch, scratch right. you know. So it's bigger. It's bigger than me. It's really bigger than me, and I keep saying that. Um, as you know, it was my Tony uh, excellent speech, reception speech. Yes. It's about the stage managers. It's about the Keith Price. It's about the Rick Miramontes. It's about the treasurers. It's about Bob Wankel. It's about uh, the late uh, uh, Jerry Schoenfeld and Phil Smith. It's about Max and Sardis and and Ivan and Sean. It's about Bomb 45, Carmen, who does all the, you know, Carmen and Andrea. It's about, it's about the security people with the, I said, I love my security people. I love, and I love all of them. It's about all of them. It's about all of them. Because they're so happy to see me. And I'm happy, you know, it's about the the Brian, uh, Brian Morlands Mm -hmm. of the world. And the Ron Simons and these young, you know, a lot of these young um, candy produce to show on Broadway. All of these are opening, uh, opening these doors. Right. But you can't open them unless you got the money. That's it. Because you can have, you can, the bottom line, you, the first thing you see that's something attractive, you say, how much is it? I love it. I and love if it. if you don't have the money, yeah. yeah. So, so Irene, Miss Irene, let's talk about a little bit, though, about how, when, like, what is it about theater that you love that keeps you in it because you know there's 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 more than just you know we, I, when they ask me the same questions it's it's like it's more than just i love theater there is something about it that touches you differently it's like it's like um i don't know it's like your children it's like well i, I can't mention wow. Myra because i always love Myra. you ne- you're always fascinated i'm like uh, remember before the pandemic came, I was like, no, I'm going to work three days a week. I'm not doing this. I'm done this. I'm going to try. But when I first went back into the theater and saw that live, oh, I know what happened. Um, Brian uh, Marlon was doing to us a color man. And, uh, and I went and I went to the first day of rehearsal out there, people that have meet and greet because everybody thinks everybody knows everybody. You know, but we right. don't know each other all, all, all to the first day of rehearsal. <laughs> there's, there's 10 How black shows on has... Broadway, and I can guarantee you there are a whole bunch of black people that have never met each other before and white working people on these either. shows. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, not working, you know. Um, we don't know each other because we're all contracting. So we all get to know each other. Right. And then we all have a, a, a party. You know, usually the producers give you like a little party, mm-hmm. and this was at the Schubert, uh, the Schubert Bob Wankel, who I love, who gave a party for Thoughts of a Color Man. And when I was coming, I, n- I never really thought about. I've been, you know, to meeting great parties, but I was, I came out of the bathroom, and I went into the room, and I was getting ready. I was, I was talking to Candy, Candy. Uh, from Housewives, she's one Candy of Burris, producers. yeah. Candy Burris is an amazing young woman, mm-hmm. businesswoman. And I looked around the room, Keith. I saw Keenan, the playwright, mm-hmm. Black. I saw the director, Steve Broxton, Black. I saw the assistant director, Black. I saw the company manager, Black. I saw the assistant company manager, mm-hmm. Black. I just broke down and cried. Because I had never seen this, but it wasn't because I saw it. The fact that I didn't realize I had never seen it until I saw it. Until you saw it. Wow. And I just broke down. I broke down and cried. I'm like, I said, oh, my God. Like, how do you feel when people call you legend, legendary? How does that affect you? Well, you, you know, are I'm, to just me. Owning, I'm just owning it now. I'm just owning it. I because. Legend always meant to me because what does that word mean? Legend. Mm-hmm. I used to say I used to use it. I'm le- legendary, and I was like, oh, I'm not legend. But now I realize um, you're also I'm legendary, very, living in the moment. I, I'm a legendary moment. living moment. Yeah. 
and and at the same time to the inspiration that you have given is great because there as you said there are in the 50 years that you've been in this business and doing what you've done you have helped make space for so many you know people know of what... color so many of women and it's and it's you know it's not that it felt like it was your ultimate intention but it certainly is because of your hard work and pushing forward i think i, I appreciate that but all i think the, you can it's like that old adage you can show horses the water and you can't make them drink. drink. All I showed you people, the horses where the water was, whether you chose to drink it or not. I showed where you could drink the water, where you can satisfy your thirst. If oh, you want to drink it. And now you understand why this woman is my personal diva. <laughs> Miss Irene, and I can, yeah. Thank yeah. you, thank you, thank you so much for sp- help spending some time with me, for passing the mic, and for those of you who are listening, find out all you can about Miss Irene Gandhi. Look for me on the Twitter at Comedy Daddy, and I will have all kinds of links posted to Miss Irene, including the Tony acceptance moment that she got. Oh, this thank past you. It's so that you can kind of see what legendary looks like. So, Miss Irene, thank you so much. Thank you. And thank we you. will be back to continue Diva. passing the mic. I am the Thank Diva. you. Diva. You better roll out the red carpet.